Well, last time Marty installed the um, Magpul MOE fixed carbine stock onto the St. Victor 308 rifle. Today we're going to replace the grip, not because this grip is not comfortable or anything like that, but just to keep it in touch, you know, with a Magpul, we're going to put a Magpul grip. And another thing is, we're going to talk about the Accutite tension system on the Springfield Armory rifles and what it does. You're going to explain that to us, right? Yep. Well, I'm going to take the upper and the lower apart so you can work on the lower, mm -hmm. change the grip, and at the same time, you're going to work and explain to us what the Accutite system is. Okay, first thing, we're going to remove the old pistol grip off, right? Right. So once you get the screw all the way out, these can be snug coming off, right? We don't actually need, we actually don't need to save these, but you can kind of save those in your parts here. But we do want to be mindful, right? At least with the AR, right? And I'm going to set this thing sideways so we don't lose it. But There's two springs in there. There are, there are two springs in here with the, with this right here. So this is, this is uh, common with the uh, AR-10s, right? There's a spring and a detent that activate this, this plunger here, right? So, or at least this uh, pin. Same thing here with the, uh, the safety as well. If you tip that over, those will fall out, right? You just gotta make sure that the little one goes back in the little hole and the big one goes back in the big hole, right? Then we're gonna add our Magpul grip, right? So, Magpul, where'd this screw go? There it is. So, Magpul has the, uh, has a hex head and also a slot, so you can use a, a screwdriver or a hex head to put in, to install the grip. But uh, what I want to do is I want to make sure the safety spring goes back in there. The what do they call it? The uh, selector spring. selector spring. Thank you. Goes back into the into the hole, right? And this spring here, we're gonna kind of we're gonna kind of work in there because it's going to compress, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this back on the pistol grip here. I'm gonna be mindful not to bend the detent spring. I'm gonna run it all the way forward. And I'm just gonna very gently kind of push these up into place, right? I got that thing all the way in there and it actually has enough tension on it that I can let it go, right? So what we're gonna do here is, now I'll just put this back on. And Magpul's grip has a nice hole in it so that we can access the uh, AccuTech Accu tension system. Yeah. So that's going to help us eliminate movement between the upper and lower receiver. And, um, and you can't see it from here, but I'll show you with a different grip. Mm -hmm. Want to make sure the selector works, right? We want to make sure that pin pops out and it wants to be firm going back in and out it's going to snap if you see on the magpul grip it has two holes one hole is for the screw that holds it together and the other one is to have access to the accutite tension system okay and the accutite tension system you can be seen there there's that little green screw that will cause tension to to make the upper and the lower receiver be tighter to mm -hmm. each other right mm -hmm. Right. And what does that give us, Marty? Well, uh, if your upper and lower, right, if they're shifting at all, it can throw off your accuracy, right? So by putting tension, basically spreading the, the upper and lower receiver apart a little bit, it's putting tension on the base, on the, on the base of the uh, receiver. And that's going to, that's going to eliminate any wobble and it's going to make your, uh, it's going to make your gun more consistent, especially when you're trying to shoot for accuracy. That little wedge there, that little green, that little green wedge there, is going to end up pushing right on that. It's going to eliminate any wobble back and forth, but it's it's there it's there to create consistency, right? So there is a little bit of a tensioning process to it, and we want to make sure that uh, we don't overdo it, but we want that tension to be there enough to where it holds the gun together, but where we can still actually take it apart. So. Okay, and that's something also the tensioning. We, we're going to we're going to take it to the range and show a difference between a group shot without any tension mm -hmm. and a group done with some tension. Mm -hmm. Now, I got a question for you. Are we going to make this t so tight that we won't be able to take it apart without unscrewing it, or will will we be able to take it apart with the tension on it? So uh, if we we can overdo it, right? So if you overdo it, you'll end up to the point where you've got to tap these things out with a punch, and you don't want to do that, right? Okay. You want to be able to get this thing apart. We want it firm. We want it snug, but we don't want it to the point where 
if I get the if I get the whole gun together, I tension down the screw, and then I gotta untension it just in order to get the upper off the lower. I mean that that's that's just not gonna work. Okay. Right? So that you know that's how we're gonna get our consistency is just putting a little bit of tension on the screw itself, and then that way we'll be able to uh, still disassemble the gun and still field strip it in a, in a reasonable fashion. So. Okay, but that's something that we're gonna do at the range, right? The first time we shoot it. Or should we tension it now? We, we can tension it now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and put it back together. Okay. And I'll have you tension it for me. And then we will, uh, I'll do it, I'll let you do it because I don't know how much to do. I don't want to overdo it. Sure. Okay, so now we have a, a rather long T-handle to go down inside here, right? All we're going to do is we're just going to stick this down in the back, in the hole back behind the, uh, back behind the, uh, the screw there, right? The, at least the grip screw. And I'm just gonna come in and find it once it seats in there. And I'm not going a ton, right? I'm really just kind of going until I feel it, right? And I'm applying fingertip pressure, that's it, right? Just until I get it to kind of just tension up a little bit, right? So, and even here, I haven't gone that far. I cannot push this out at this point, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna just back off a little bit and just kind of feel it a little bit, right? Because we're getting rid of this, we're getting rid of this wobble back and forth, right? There's going to be, there's always going to be a little aspect of that, but what we're trying to do is we're just trying to eliminate a lot of that kind of play back and forth. Now, now I'm just kind of coming in, just kind of feel it, right? And there we go, right? And I can still, yes, with the aid of a, of a handy screwdriver, but I can actually still get that out to where I can, you know, not necessarily with my fingertips, but I can use a tool, right? but I don't have to sit here and just absolutely crank down on the thing. It's just, it's impractical at that point. But that, that's enough to adjust that right there. And then once again, when we're done, we uh, slap the clip in there and or at least uh, clip the uh, cap in there and this thing's ready to shoot. In a couple of weeks when the temperatures get a little bit less nasty mm -hmm. out there, we can go at the crack of dawn and actually shoot it with the tensioning that we did mm -hmm. and without and see the difference. Right. Same ammo. Same rifle, mm -hmm. we'll just go back and forth and see and, and show, uh, illustrate the difference between the both. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Now this rifle is to my liking 100%. It's not that I didn't like it before, but I like the fixed uh, stock and I can access the Accutite tension system mm -hmm. with this grip much better. And actually feels really good. So again, it's clear, let's go to the range. Okay. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.